Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your girl, Monique Nicole. If this is your first time tuning in, make sure you press that subscribe button. And if you like what you see, make sure you click that bell for that notification link so that you don't miss a thing. So today, I'm coming at you with another slay, as always. Now, this style I did get from ebonyline.com. And y'all know I've been into, like, the long, wavy, you know, crinkly, you know, type of hair. And just because mainly it's how the foundation of my hair, how it's been under wigs, it's been in twisties. I don't really do the cornrows anymore. So sometimes my hair is puffy. So when you have, like, big hair, you can disguise everything. So enough with all that. Let me show you what I got to bring. Boom. I have a sleek lay part. And this is from Outre. Now, y'all know Outre has been killing the game, okay, along with their melted hairline. But I also really do enjoy their sleek lay line. So, I have this in the color 1B, and this is in the style as Mara. And this is 26 inches. So, this is a lace front. I don't know if it's a right or left, but we'll figure it out. So, this is what it looks like. Packaging all this stuff in between this is gonna be some nice vacation here i can already tell you that this is gonna be this might be a wig i'm gonna have to pull out a lot sooner than later so this is um as mara love the pattern it has more of uh like i said wavy like a spanish wave i want to say pattern and then here is the stock card. I actually do like it in this blonde color. But I kind of figure it would be probably like a hot mess within, you know, just a couple wears. Because y'all know sometimes blonde hair just, you already know, blonde hair has like an earlier expiration date than the natural colors. But this does come in a variation of colors. And I love this style, so I think it would look nice in any color. And I'm trying to look at the part. Okay, so it is a left part. As y'all can see, it's a left part. So if y'all are not a left part, you either judge it to the right or you just find you a different wig. So I'm excited to try this on. I'm going to go ahead. I am going to, you know, do my thing. I'm going to cut the lace and just put some foundation at the bottom. And then I'm going to come in and give y'all the final review. But this does have a standard inside cap construction with the... One on the right, one on the left, one on the back combs, and two adjustable straps. There is no, like, uh, elastic headband like some of their wigs have. So, I have a feeling like this is going to be able to stay without any adhesive. So, let me go ahead and try this on. Hey, y'all. So, I'm back with Asmara. I forgot to take this off. With Asmara. And all I did was I went ahead... And I cut the lace, and I just sprayed some, um, let me show y'all. I sprayed some Ebony New York Tinted Spray. Um, this is in the color medium brown. So, that's all I'm doing. This, this is all I do. You know. Or if you don't have that, just use some foundation that you don't really use. Um, sometimes I go in with my powder foundation. You'll see in a second. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to put this on just to see how it all works. So like I said, it is a left part. And baby, y'all see there's no adhesive. Just a stocking cap and a wig grip. And I'm about to come in so that y'all can see how the wig just melts into my scalp and this ain't even the like i said this is not part of their melted hairline it's just their sleek lay which is what i like because i feel like with these ones you really don't need the adhesive with like with the melted you kind of got to do some extra melting down so that it could really blend in this one is like very secure so i'm just gonna go in with my 
And this is my uh, C7 powder foundation. It's crazy because the foundation is what I have on my face, but the powder is way too dark for me. So just use what works. This is the hair. I'm not going to brush it out. Now, I know y'all can see this. And that's just because I'm going to be taking this off right after this video. But this is going to be down anyway, so who can't even really see the truth? But this is how the hair looks. Let me back up some more. Like I said, it's 26 inches. I am 5'6". So it does come past my chest area. And it is pretty long. With this hair, I do like it. This is definitely summer vacation hair. I think any style that is like this or with this type of pattern I always call it vacation here like it just makes me want to go on vacation but this is really pretty now i feel like i would definitely go ahead and buy this like i would definitely get this again just because i already know that i'm loving it reasons why why well, i'm gonna tell you right now they are not skimpy on the fullness of this unit it is very thick and y'all know sometimes the longer the unit the more you know scarce it is at the end nope it looks like it's very thick all the way towards the end of the hair the hair is soft it does have like a semi yaki texture i would say definitely use a finger comb do not use a brush you know over time this is the type of wig that's just gonna get better over time because it's just gonna look more and more natural and it's gonna become more and more fuller it does come with baby hairs. Now, y'all know me. I do not like to gel down my baby hairs. If you want to utilize them, you can. With me, I just like to use the wispiness of the baby hair because to me, it just makes it look more natural. This is, uh, I want to say this is like medium hair friendly. It could definitely be big hair friendly if you just adjust the straps. Um, the hair does not feel heavy. And for this to be a long unit, I'm going to be honest. I don't feel that heat in the back of my neck. Y'all know sometimes these wigs get a little high, a little high in your kitchen area. You're not going to get that. Like, it's very breathable. And, yeah, just go ahead and rock it. I think this will definitely be cute in another color as well. Like, I'm really feeling this blonde, but I'm not going to get the blonde, y'all. Or should I? Y'all let me know. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give y'all a 360. But I do just want to come in and just show y'all the curl pattern. Once again, let me show y'all the parting. Easy slay. Y'all see I ain't do too much. Very easy. So go ahead and copy two. Not one, but two. And definitely get this. Like I said, I got this from ebonyline.com. So this is how the hair looks. This is like a side profile. So this is how it looks on the side. As you can see, it's not super full on this side, but it's not super thin. It's like the right density. This is how the hair looks in the back. This is how the hair looks on the right side. And this is how the hair looks all in the front. I'm going to just try to move my camera back just a little bit more. That way, that's a lot better. So, therefore, y'all can actually, you know, see, like, where it lays. And everything so I'm gonna just do another 360 I'm gonna do it really quick and there she go so once again get as Mara from ebonyline.com let me know if you like this unit if you do make sure you drop a blue heart in the comment section below talk to me y'all I love to talk back and you will find all the details to this unit in the description box below. And make sure, once again, you like, share, and subscribe. All right, y'all. Bye.